how do we come up with the perfect budget for our Google Ads account? That is something that most people ask inside of Google Ads. I don't wanna to spend too much, but I don't wanna to spend too little. What's the downsides of spending too little versus too much? Uh, and really, what everyone wants is the best possible return on investment. So what I'm going to do in today's video is completely break down budget into a step-by-step -step process that really explains everything inside of Google Ads regarding the budget and how to set it perfectly for your account. We're gonna go over what it is, how to set it, how to increase it by a certain amount because if you increase it too much, it's going to actually hurt the actual results and also what to do if we start seeing diminishing returns, any alternatives we can consider and really just how to get the best results possible for our Google Ads account with budget. And really budget is going to be one of the biggest things inside of our Google Ads account that determines success. So you need to make sure you know what you're doing when it comes to budget. So first off, what is budget inside of Google Ads? And simply budget is the amount of money we're spending in a Google Ads account on a daily basis. Some people think it's spent on a monthly basis. It's not, it's on a daily basis. How do we actually go about finding this budget inside of Google Ads? And that's pretty simple. All we have to do is come over here to our Google Ads account, click on one of our campaigns, and then we will see that our budget is set to $5. This is a demo account, so it's not currently active, but it's just to show you what this actually looks like inside of a real campaign. If we want to edit this, all we have to do is click on the little pencil icon here, and then we can edit this to let's say $6 a day. And then we just hit save and we are good to go. It will then update and now our budget is set to $6. Now, why is budget so important inside of Google Ads? And if we set our budget too low, we're not going to get enough data early on inside the campaign's life cycle to essentially switch over to an automated bidding strategy like target CPA, maximize conversions, target ROIS. And what this is going to cause is a very, very slow learning period that essentially extends for months. And that's not somewhere we want to be because you're going to shoot yourself in the foot with the actual duration that this is taking. And most business owners want to see results quickly. They don't want to wait four, five, six months for this. They would much rather see results 60 to 90 days into the campaign. So this is one of the reasons why budget is so important. If we put it too low, it's going to just take forever for Google Ads to actually start seeing results and seeing actual ROI on your actual money. So it's very, very important to set this at the proper amount. Now, how do we determine that proper amount? And that's pretty easy to do. All we have to do is come over here to our tools and settings, come over here to the actual keyword planner. And then there's two important things that we're going to be doing here. One is we're gonna hit discover new keywords. We're going to set our location to the area we want to target. This is extremely important because if we do not, we are going to be searching for keywords that aren't in our location and that aren't actually properly priced. So we don't actually know what we're going to be spending. So for this one, I'm just going to put the province of Ontario. You could also just put a few cities, you could put just a 60 mile radius, whatever you want to do is completely fine. But please make sure these are the actual cities we want to advertise in that way we can get the appropriate pricing. Now all we have to do is hit save and then come up with some actual keywords with some high buying intent. Now what this could look like is pool installation near me. If we're a pool installation company, this could look like HVAC installation near me or heating and cooling repair near me or pest control near me. Something that shows people are actually in the market to purchase from you or looking for your service. So we could just do pool installation near me. That's fine. Uh, sometimes you'll have to add a few more keywords. Normally for pool installation, there's quite a few that pop up already. And what we can do is essentially scroll through here. What I like to do is actually just look at the high buying intent keywords. You can filter these out if you want through all these brands and uh, materials and service options as well. Uh, but what I like doing is just looking at the actual high buying intent key keywords. And this will give you a very good idea of what you're gonna be spending a month on actual pricing and what you're gonna be spending on a daily basis. So if we look at pool contractors near me, we can see top of page bid range, uh, that's $14. And this is a good keyword. This isn't like um, pool, tips, pool tricks, pool DIY, pool companies looking to hire. Uh, some of these keywords could be significantly lower in price. However, they're not generally going to convert into a lead, which is not something that we want. We want only keywords that are gonna convert or at least give us the highest chance of converting. So that's something we have to look into. So when we look at this, we see pool companies near me, pool builders, pool contractors, above ground swimming pool. Normally, a lot of the companies we work with, they don't do above ground. Uh, so we're going to ignore that. But as we can see, 11, 10, 14, 10, uh, 14, 12. So I would say probably 13, $14 is the high end. What I would like to see is at least 10 clicks a day or one conversion. Depending on what you're using, you might only need a handful of clicks, maybe five, six, seven clicks if you're using high converting landing pages to get that one conversion a day. 
However, if you're not, normally I like to err on the side of caution and say, you know what, go with 10 clicks a day. That way you can start seeing conversions, get that data into your account, and then be able to actually transition to that automated bidding strategy later on in the month. And then just give yourself the best chance of really bringing that cost per lead down really early in the campaign's life cycle. So what I would do is I would set this probably $14. What we can do is just come up with the calculator. We can do 14 times 10, that's 140. And that would be our daily budget. Again, this is pool installation, so it is more expensive. However, people are generally happy to pay that if uh, you can get them a lead every single day, especially if they're selling, you know, $50,000 pool makes sense to them. It might not be worth it to you if you are a plumbing repair guy who only charges, you know, 20 or $30 for the job, then this is a very good identifier of whether or not you should actually run Google ads. And I would much rather establish this early because I don't want you to waste your money inside of Google ads, which a lot of people do. A lot of people just go into Google ads, they make an account, they set a budget, and then they just end up wasting a whole bunch of money inside the actual account. And, and that's somewhere no one really wants to be. So I would much rather you figure out whether or not Google ads is going to be profitable for you and going to be sustainable for you for a long time, as opposed to just guessing. This is a very, very good way of identifying whether or not this is going to be viable for you long term. Now, normally I recommend running this for at least 90 days. That way we can establish the actual data we need to transition over to an AI, make some adjustments on the actual ads, search terms, adding those negatives, maybe building out a couple new ad groups, optimizing the landing pages, stuff like that, that we can really help bring our cost per lead down. Anything less than 90 days, we're going to have an actual issue with, and it's just not gonna be enough time to see any results. So if we can't commit to, let's say $140 a day for this particular campaign for the next 90 days, I would suggest just not running the campaign at all. Because if we don't have those 90 days, it's just not gonna be worth it to you. Now, if you are interested in learning more about the first 90 days of a campaign, I just released a brand new video on it that walks you through the entire process of what to expect for the first 90 days of a campaign's life cycle. I'll link it up above and that should give you a little bit better understanding of what to expect. Now, once we have figured out our budget, one of the things you will notice is that in every single day of the campaign, you're probably going to spend a different amount of money. And the reason for that is this is a bidding system and it takes place inside of an auction house. So every single keyword is priced differently. And just because you you know want to spend a hundred dollars a day, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to spend a hundred dollars a day. There's a bidding system. You're going to spend different amounts of money because you're going to bid differently, especially depending on your quality score, depending on how many people are in the actual auction house at that given moment. There's a lot of factors that go into this. One thing that does concern a lot of people is they will set a budget for $100 a day and then it might spend $190 in one given day. The reason for this is Google essentially operates on a budget on a monthly basis, even though they let you set it at a daily basis. Now, I know this may sound weird, but essentially all we have to do is multiply our budget by 30.4 and that will give us the total monthly budget of what Google ads is allowed to spend. So if we were to set a daily budget of let's say $140, we can bring up our handy calculator. We can do 140 times 30.4 and we will spend no more than $4,256 in a given month. Now, why would Google spend more in a given day than we want it to actually spend on a given day? Like I said, it sets the budget at a monthly amount, so Google essentially has some play in how much it can spend on a daily basis. It will never exceed two times your average daily budget on any given day, and that's something that kind of helps people, and as you can see here as well, uh, it's multiplied by 30.4, so it's a little easier to understand if you get the entire picture. It allows itself to essentially make bid adjustments depending on if it thinks it can get more conversions for a lesser price on a given day. So maybe Wednesdays are really good and it's like, hey, I'd much rather spend, you know, $190 here and get a whole bunch more conversions for you and then maybe not spend as much on Thursday or Friday uh, because we're not going to get as much conversions, especially if Google's AI is in a, you know, month two, three, it's really good at making those decisions and it kind of knows when these conversions are going to come in and when it's going to be most profitable for you. So it's nice giving Google's AI a little bit of room uh, just to make those adjustments, but don't fear, don't, you know, go, oh my God, why is it, you know, spending so much money? That's the reason it's never going to over exceed your daily budget times 30.4 and you should be fine inside Google Ads. So if you see that and you're like, oh, it spent so much money, you don't need to worry. Uh, Google Ads is just doing its thing. It's trying to get you more leads and you should be fine. Now, another important thing about budget is once we have this set and say we start seeing some great results, I want to increase it. I wanna see more results. 
One of the things that most people I see in Google ads do is say they have a $50 budget, they will crank it up to $200 a day. And what happens is Google's AI goes back into learning mode. This is something we want to avoid because learning mode is essentially just AB testing everything really, really quickly. And it burns a lot of budget and it really wastes a lot of budget. So it's really something we want to avoid for the most part. I created an entire video on learning mode and essentially how to avoid it. But one of the key things we want to do is only increase our budget by about 10 to 15%. If you look online, you can see even upwards of 20% right around there, but no more than 20%. I like staying conservative. And I know that most people, if I give them any sort of advice, if I said 20%, they would say, I could probably do 25%. And then they'll increase it. And then they'll go into learning mode. And they'll say, Matt doesn't know what he's talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. People just don't always take my advice. So I'd much rather be a little bit more conservative. 10 to 15%, you should be fine on a weekly basis. So every week you're gonna increase it by 10 to 15%, you should be completely fine. And your Google ads won't go back into learning mode, which won't hurt your campaign. Something super important. And please don't overlook that. Please don't just crank your budget up because once Google has all this new budget to play with, it needs to figure out where to spend it. And it's just going to spend it on a whole bunch of stuff that's probably gonna waste your ad spend. Another thing that I would like to mention is once we've increased our budget and we're seeing better results, there will come a time probably that we start to see diminishing returns. And we see that every time we increase the budget, our cost per lead still goes up, which is not something we wanna be. So say we were getting leads for $20 and then we increase our budget by 10, 15% and then it goes up to $22 a lead, probably not that big of a deal. And then we increase the budget a little bit more and then a little bit more and then a little bit more. And now our cost per leads $45 and it's just not profitable for us anymore what do we do? Well, the first thing to do is to make sure you jot down your results. And that's why I recommend the Google ads optimization checklist as it lets you jot down your results. The link for that is completely free. And the link is down below. But one of the important things to look at is the actual daily spend versus your cost per lead. And as we can see, those two things are generally closely related. If we increase our budget too much, and we start to see diminishing returns, we could probably just put it back down and we'll be fine. The cost per lead will come back down to normal. The reason this happens is there's only so many people searching inside of a given auction house at any given time. And once we exceed that amount, we have to essentially start bidding on people that aren't as um, likely to buy in Google's AI's mind. So it has to start taking more mitigated risks. And uh, unfortunately, our cost probably normally goes up. How do we know when we start seeing diminishing returns? Normally when our cost per lead goes up and when our search impression share is upwards of 80 plus percent. Uh, if we wanna check out our search impression share, very easy to do. All you have to do is come over here to your Google Ads account, click on one of your actual search campaigns, and then click ad groups. And if you don't have this yet, it's in the actual column section, you can just hit modify, go into competitive metrics, and then add the actual search impression. And as you can see here, this is less than 10%. So we're nowhere near the actual, you know, uh, top end amount, uh, which is normally right around 80%. Keep in mind, it's different for everyone. But really, the big metric here is going to be our cost per lead. If we see our cost per lead really start increasing every time we see that daily budget increase, that's going to be a problem. And we have to address that. Now, how do we actually address this problem when it comes to diminishing returns? And there's a few things we can do. One is just increase the actual amount of keywords we're going after. That way we have more search volume to go after, add more ad groups, which will you know allow us to create more targeted keywords, more landing pages, yada, 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 which will give us more search volume. But say we run out of high buying intent keywords. What's another thing we could do? We could also check on the search partners network. So if we wanted to go into our actual search campaign, we can hit more details, we can hit edit and settings, and then we can click on networks and then turn on the search partners network. This is already enabled. And then we can just hit save. This will allow us to appear on Google's other search networks. Sometimes this is really good. Sometimes it's really bad. Uh, it kind of depends on your case and scenario, like a lot of things inside Google ads, but it is worth keeping an eye on. And, and you never know, you might see some really good results on it, but it will definitely expand the amount of searches you're able to appear for and increase your visibility inside of Google ad search campaigns. Another thing you could do is increase the amount of days you're running. Maybe you're only running Mondays to Fridays. You could also try the weekends. You could also increase your hours you're working or another possibility is increase the actual location we're going after. So maybe we're going after, you know, just Florida, we could maybe enter in a few other states or a few other cities and just really try and increase the amount of impressions we are eligible to be in front of and to get those eyeballs on our actual ads so we can get more clicks and we can bring our cost per lead down. Generally, the larger the pool of possible searches we could appear for, the lower cost per lead is going to be because Google is going to have more options to decide on whether or not we should go after these certain people. And if you just give it a bigger pool, it's generally gonna make better decisions and bring that cost per lead down. 
Now, if we've exhausted all of these settings and we are still not actually seeing any results, two things we could do are actually start a new campaign. We could do a performance max campaign. Now, these are really, really good at getting a lot of eyeballs on our actual campaigns and ads. Uh, the bad part about this is they don't offer as much control as a normal search campaign. And what I mean by this is with a search campaign, you are able to go after actual search terms that are high buying intent, like pool installation near me or AC repair near me. With Performance Max, we don't really have that. Performance Max relies heavily on Google's AI to figure out what to do, what to go after, and optimize using essentially conversions. Now, conversions for an e-commerce campaign, those are absolutely fantastic because we know exactly what uh, we put in to exactly what we get out, that being a sale. With lead generation and going after those high buying intent keywords, it's not always the case. We could have a lot of conversions, but they could all be for low buying intent keywords. So that's something to keep in mind with Performance Max. Though Performance Max should allow you to get a lot more volume than a normal search campaign, it does have its drawbacks. Another campaign we could also try out is local service ads. And local service ads are generally hit and miss as they, like Performance Max campaigns, also heavily rely on AI. However, I would highly recommend if you're gonna do local service ads, try to be in that top one, two, or three spots. Anything below that, you're generally gonna see you know, poor results out of, but it is hit and miss and it is worth trying and it will allow you to get in front of more eyeballs, uh, which is kind of nice if you're looking for you know that same cost per lead but it is something that you could try out. So that's all for budget. That's how to set it up, why it's important, everything about budget. And hopefully this was a decent guide uh, to really guide you on your journey through Google ads. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave a comment down below. I will do my best to try and get back to you. Anything regarding budget or Google ads, I'd be happy to answer. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care and I wish you all well.